What up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Um, got really bored, so I'm stepping off the vlog game. This is the second day in a row I started filming. Um, we're not going hard like we did for the seven day quest because I started going pretty insane by the end of it. Uh, but where are we where are we heading to right now? The post office and the bank. The post office and the bank. Grown up errands. We gotta do grown up stuff. So we the door's not shut. Yeah, I was gonna get out of the car. You were about to see me do some kind of stunt. No, that's not gonna happen. Uh, we gotta go to the bank, we gotta go to the post office. So, it's gonna be really short, but we're gonna get it done. Um, how you guys doing? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Um, soon, the channel, the, the whole place will be complete. I know, you saw the, the cribs, that was the unofficial cribs video, because I got really bored and was mad at my bank account, but I got that figured out, so. Um, gonna have some special stuff I'm gonna show you in the channel, and who knows what other kind of shenanigans I'm gonna get into today, so we'll find out. So I have a question. So I was putting my chapstick on, and my chapstick, just for visual purposes, is gigantic. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about that scene in um, The Breakfast Club where Molly Ringwald sticks the lipstick between her really, really tiny boobs and puts it on. And my boobs are bigger than hers, and I cannot even imagine getting my face down that far. I don't understand how she does it. How she she push her boobs up? She pushed them together, I think. I don't think she pushed them up. I'm going to have to watch Breakfast Club. Maybe you should try it later. No, I'm, I'm good. But <laughs> well, you want to test the theory, don't you? No, I was just thinking about it. I didn't say I wanted to test it. I think you want to test the theory. I don't want to test <laughs> Maybe when I'm alone. Nah, I'm gonna have to help you out with that. No, yeah. that's okay. I'm gonna help you. <laughs> oh, man. Definitely just saw me do that. Take your nose. Own it. Mine him for gold. Own it. Own it. I'm owning it right now. <laughs> Don't want to get anything stuck in my beard, because that would be bad. I need gas. So you just wipe your boogers on your mustache? Yep. All over my mustache. You know, saving them for later. Yep. Ari saves them for later. Oh, yes, she does. <laughs> Actually, she just eats them. Uh, so what's on the agenda for today? I don't know. See, this is this is vlog life right here. This is this is the weird stuff that you never get to see. <laughs> this is when we run out of things to talk about. And I have a sticker on my elbow. <clears throat> did you put that there? I did not. You probably just picked it up. On my elbow. <laughs> Donald Duck. It's on my elbow. Sorry, That's what loves, happens when you have a child. Who loves stickers. Who loves stickers. She absolutely loves stickers. Stickers are her favorite thing. <laughs> There's another thing. I'm going to pick up G-Force. We talked about that yesterday. Um, sometime soon. And I got to see VVS, so maybe you'll get a surprise reaction from me on that. Um, I've been hearing that it's getting a lot of bad reviews from the critics, but like fans, like normal fans, love the movie. So it's one of those either love it or hate it things, I guess. Um, you can I tell apologize. By I'm a really good fan, so. My hand is, look at my hand, it's shaky today. It's okay, are you, do, am I actually in frame? Yes. Because of the last vlog, you only get to see about this much of my face when I'm talking. <laughs> Doing some of these. <laughs> and the camera's going, <laughs> here, let me see that. I just the, did it. No, the, no. The camera is going like this. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> we're going somewhere right now. And, um... to go see Nicole's most anticipated movie of the year, um, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Woohoo. Uh, <laughs> actually, this is my most anticipated movie of the year. This and is my most dreaded movie release of the year. Says the girl is excited for Suicide Squad. Yeah, I'm a Suicide Squad. You have not talked about Suicide Squad for three years. You've ruined this movie for me. And everybody, when she loves it, 
I'm going to never let her forget about it. Mm -hmm. She will never live it down mm -hmm. if she loves this movie. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to see this just to prove you wrong, by the way. No. No, yeah. Yes, I am. No, you're not. That, that's exactly why I'm here. Oh, so, so the whole idea that I had that you were actually trying to make me happy for once is all a lie. Yep. Wow. <laughs> My life is a lie, people. My life is a lie. I don't know why, but you're out of focus. Why am I out of focus? Oh, there it goes. Touch me. It goes. Those they touch me on the screen. <laughs> All right, so we just got out of Bat Flag versus Superman Donald cameos, and it was I liked it. I liked it a lot. I thought it was great, and I will definitely be owning that on Blu-ray when it comes out. Um, I don't know about her. I don't think she'll watch it again, but I will. I definitely watch the unrated director's cut. So, um, or the R-rated, not the unrated, the R-rated director's cut, which is supposed to be three hours long. Um, hopefully they show Batman breaking into LexCorp, because that looks like it was pretty badass and they cut that whole thing. So, um, what did you think? Did you like the movie? It was alright. I liked the first half of it. Did you hear what she said, guys? She said... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I like the first three movies I watched. All right, all right. Well, as soon as we got out of the theater, I believe I recall her saying, oh, the last 30 minutes was kind of cheesy, but I really liked the rest of it. So I'm going to just remember that, and I'm going to hold it against you forever. Okay. You yeah. Do that. Well, you heard it, guys. She loved the movie. You watch My Little Pony, so it's okay. I do. Burning for life. <laughs> Uh, ben Affleck was badass. I can't wait to see the Bat Batflex solo movie because that's going to be really awesome. Um, I felt for Superman like the whole time. I'm like, dude, they're really beating down on him like the entire movie. Like, he did. I don't think there was anything. Maybe there was one scene where he was happy. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole movie. Mm -hmm. The beginning scene with him and the tub oh, scene. Yeah, that was really cute. I, I'm a big fan of that scene. I like that. Um, there were almost boobs in your movie. Almost boobs. There might be boobs in the director's cut. So, Maybe. who knows? Um, what you think of those cameos? Everyone's seen the movie by now. Yeah, the only one I thought was weird was Aquaman's. He but looked cool. It was. It was just. It, it was, was like a long. minute and a half too it long. It was too long. <laughs> it was way too long. Just like I said. They should have put, like, a, a diver went down into a cave, and then all of a sudden, Momoa, like, raises up, and you, he raises, he arcs up with the trident, and just, like, shoots across the screen. Well, they could have done, all they we could have done exactly what they did. It could have been a quick shot of him coming out, stab the robot camera, and then shoot away. That's all. Yeah, that's yeah, all that's we it. really needed to see. <laughs> but, you know, what I always told you, what I wanted to see for Man of Steel 2, which is probably what this movie should have been, Man of Steel 2. Oh, oh, it was. But I Third wanted to see, you know, obviously they had a different thing in mind where Batman goes up against Superman, but I really wanted Superman to have a conflict with Aquaman because of the spill in the Indian Ocean in the first movie in Man yeah, of Steel. it's too realistic. But that would have been really sweet because I have a whole theory that Aquaman's not a good guy or a bad guy. He's an anti-hero. And he really pissed at Superman. He's the Lorax of the sea. Yes. But that that's what I wanted to see with that character. Who knows what they're going to do in Justice League. But they did say that Aquaman's going to be a huge part of Justice League. So, like, a lot of his background is going to be a huge part of the Justice League movie. So that's pretty bad. Well, he's not getting a solo movie. Yes, is he, he is. is he? So. Directed by James Wan. Which I heard Didn't is supposed we just have to be a discussion about a him? Lot of What? Didn't we just have a discussion about him or you mentioned him? I said something in James you. on I don't remember. What I said was. made a comment. I don't know. But yeah, but I don't know, the trailers were kinda eh for this movie. I've seen most of them already. I wish they would have had a Suicide Squad trailer before this, but Oh they, they had one in Deadpool. But they didn't for for a Fox Marvel movie they played a Suicide Squad trailer but not before Batman v Superman. But you know, I saw Deadpool. 
I haven't seen Dare, uh, Deadpool yet. <laughs> I almost said Daredevil. <laughs> I'm four hey, episodes hey, into Daredevil hey, season we two. We could have gotten awesome. to see Deadpool and gotten out at the same time. <laughs> I know, right? But, I don't know. Since I know it's down here, I'll probably see it in theaters. Um, but Dawn of Justice. You know, a lot of people either like it or hate it, but there is some middle ground. There are some scenes in it that I thought that were kind of eh. Uh, the cameos was probably the the weakest part of the movie for me. Mm, I thought I thought with introdu- with introductions with this being the Dawn of Justice instead of a Man of Steel two movie, it was quick. It was painless and it was over with. It wasn't like. They spent 20 minutes on each person. Flash was cool. I thought Flash was cool. That was really cool. Aquaman could have been trimmed down by like 20 seconds. Like it was literally like 20 minutes long. No, it, it felt was, like it, it was, was 20 ridiculous. minutes. It was long. so awkward. But it like it didn't even look like he knew how to breathe underwater. It just looked like he was holding his breath. Which he's Aquaman. And everyone knows Aquaman can breathe underwater. Um if you're a DC fan, you know that. Wonder Woman was cool. Uh, I like Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. I thought he was really sweet. And it, if anyone didn't notice this, Jack, Lex Luthor Jr. That was his name in the movie. Why do you keep looking at me? Sorry. <laughs> Maybe right. because I want to look at you. Mm-hmm. Can't make eye contact with them. You usually do. I guess you're just not used to other. Yeah, someone no, else I'm holding not the used camera. To some, I have no friends. Okay. People, I have absolutely no friends whatsoever. I, I told you what I thought. I thought they took three scripts for three full movies, cut them apart, and sewed them together. My uh, biggest issue with that entire movie is I felt like I was watching three different movies, and it took me out of it. See, I didn't feel like that at all. Felt like everything that happened in the movie had a place. Yeah. I mean, I've, I don't, I'm not saying it wasn't cohesive in the end, but I felt like they could have done the same thing with three different movies. It's just, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, but that's three movies it's like, explaining one story. Yes, but it's like there, there's pieces missing. Like, there's parts of the story that are too short for me. Yes, watch the director's cut when it comes out. Okay, it'll still be too short, I'm telling you. It probably won't. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> it's going to be three hours long. I didn't say the movie was too short. Oh, uh, story. <laughs> stories were too short. It's ben like Affleck. it's like an anthology of short stories. Ben Affleck was badass. The warehouse fight scene. Mm-hmm. That was pretty awesome. Where did you hear that name? Why did you say that? Mm-hmm. Uh, that was pretty sweet. Um, um. What you think of Alfred? I like this Alfred. I feel like he's um, more. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Ex-British special forces, like he is in the comics. No, it's just more like useful. He's more useful to Batman. He knows how to fix things and fly things. And he's not just a butler. He's not like Michael Caine likes to tell stories and smile a lot. Yeah. Well, no, nothing against Michael Caine. I think he's no, really yeah. awesome. It's the great Alfred. He. This Alfred is is to Batman like Jarvis is to Iron Man. That's how I thought of it. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. It, it, it is... Ugh. A lot of people trying to say that there's not a lot of humor in this movie. I think it's a very dry humor in this movie that yeah. maybe some people don't yeah. get because... Alfred was funny. I laughed at absolutely everything he said for the most part. Yeah, I could see how that could go over some people's heads. Some of the stuff with Wonder Woman, I laughed. Mm -hmm. And they didn't um, do that, you know. It wasn't, it was very subtle humor. Batman and Wonder Woman's relationship. Yeah. Every time they spoke to each other, I was like, you know, this is kind of funny. Especially the scenes when they were at that ball. Mm Mm-hmm. Which was pretty fucking funny. She keeps walking away from him. Yeah, and he's like, "Whoa, whoa, hold on. Let me get, let me get, let me get over when here." When he real grabbed quick. her, I thought she was gonna deck him. I thought he was gonna kiss her or something. <laughs> I don't know, Batman would do that kind of thing. Um, everyone's seen the movie, but if you haven't seen the movie, 
major, major, major spoiler, so don't watch this part if you haven't seen the movie yet. Superman's death. He's not dead. That is so stupid. I was even sitting there like, really? Really? He took a nuclear bomb and revived himself in space, and you think stabbing him is going to kill him? Like, there's no way he's dead. That is so stupid. So stupid. So stupid. Well, if you read the, if you read the Death of Superman Doomsday storyline, mm. Doomsday and Superman get into a huge fight, and they both die. Yeah. And what happens is a bunch of... DNA is taken from Superman in hopes to clone him, to bring him back, and they make different clones of Superman. Okay. And eventually, the original Superman comes back. Yeah. And But the other Superman clones live. Like, one is Steel, one is Cyborg Superman, which I believe is when they take his take something. Uh, they use Star Labs technology for that. It, it gets really weird. But yeah, that happens. But I don't think they're going to go that direction in this world. Oh, so that's too too much. I think. But yeah, like his I mean, death scene is meant to be heartbreaking and sad and you're supposed to feel bad for Lois Lane and his mom and I'm like really bitch really he I just got he really he just got nuked and, and you think stabbing him is gonna no. well that was one thing that I really liked about this movie the relationship between Lois Lane and Superman was way more believable in this one well it was relatable and the, a, there was so much more character development with all the, the human characters yeah if it had been a Man of Steel movie as Man of Steel 2 I might have liked it <sighs> Imagine that. I hated that movie. I liked the first half hour of that movie. I liked the first half hour of this movie, and I liked the first half of the... the I believe she was the one that said when we saw the uh, Nice Guys trailer that she wanted Russell Crowe to come back. Because that was one of her favorite parts about Man of Steel. I think you said that. I did? I think you said that. That was me. That was you. Yes, that was me. Yeah, bring back <laughs> Russell Crowe, because he's awesome. <laughs> I think that was you. That was me. <laughs> I, I just commented on Russell Crowe. He looked kind of chunky a little bit. He looked good in Man of Steel. Mm -hmm. And, like, who doesn't want to see more of Jor-El? Because Jor-El is awesome. He was one of the best parts about Man of Steel. Other than the fight with General Zod at the end. That was pretty bad. I but, watched a movie about them. What? Krypton. They were supposed to be, like, trying to develop a television series for that. Yeah, no. I don't know that I would commit myself to a television series. You commit yourself to every television series. Exactly. When I commit, I commit. I commit hardcore, and I don't know that then I'm ready for that kind it. of commitment to a series. You are ready show. for that kind of commitment. No. Jessica Jones was enough. Still gotta watch Daredevil. It's really good. Okay. What if they reference Daredevil in season two of Jessica Jones? Oh, well. They already did in season I'll figure one. it out. I'll figure it out. I know who Daredevil is. It'll be, it'll be all right. You would really like Daredevil. I, I have to say, I have to tell people this. This person right here has made me anti-superhero, oh period. Oh, God. Let it go. Uh, I just... Let it go. I want them to just know that I'm not go. just being a let bitch. Let it go. <laughs> you like Deadpool, and you like I Batman loved, v Superman, I so Deadpool, I don't want to hear it. And I like the I don't want to hear it anymore. Them. I don't want to hear it anymore. But you've just ruined superheroes for me. I, I don't just care. feel like I feel like you're I really don't that. care. You're, you're, you're totally, she still likes X Men. Totally being a douche. She still likes X Men. Yeah, I liked X Men before I met you. I don't care. You can't ruin it. Because me. you saw the trailer for X Men Apocalypse and you're like, that looks badass. So don't tell me that I ruined superheroes for you. This is good function right now. Mm.